Uh, let's move on now uh, to UPS. Uh, the shares were under pressure this morning. The company reported earnings as well. It was a beat on the uh, EPS line. Slight miss on revenue. Also announcing, by the way, the expansion of its drone delivery service, partnering with CVS, Amerisource, Bergen, Kaiser Permanente to deliver healthcare products and prescriptions via drone. David Abney is the chairman and CEO. We always like to have you here at Post 9. Thanks for being with us, David. Glad to be here. Um, you have had a good deal of success in terms of capitalizing on the investment UPS has made over the last few years. This quarter, though, there seems to be at least a little bit of disappointment. Can you characterize the quarter for us and what you're seeing in the current moment as well as we head into, of course, the holiday season not far from now? All right. We had a very solid quarter uh, this time. Our positive operating leverage was at a very high level. We actually reduced our unit costs two and a half percent in the domestic business. I can't remember the last time that we did that. So we have a lot of momentum going into the peak season. So we're encouraged by the results. David, I think that some people uh, are concerned about your concerns about the future and the economy because. Candidly, this stock should not be down six in the quarter you just reported, which was a very strong quarter. Do you think that uh, perhaps you were just doing, saying what, what we all read in the papers, and there wasn't anything really revelatory about the future that you that was negative for UPS going forward? That's right. It's a, a dynamic environment that we're living in. There's no doubt about it, and uh, there are macro concerns. We also believe it's how we react to those concerns. Our international business had margins of almost 20 percent and still grew the top line. Would we like to see trade developments uh, go in a more positive direction? But well, we do think there's some rays of sunshine when you hear about the first level between China and the U.S. Brexit. There seems to be a path. So we believe there's opportunities there. Right. Uh you guys, UPS is one of the most consistent companies everyone knows. You're talking about 100-year-old, one of the great companies in America. So we've come to believe that when we see people from UPS uh, who are being groomed, that they're going to stay. There's an amazing man, you, Jim Barber, chief operating officer. He's leaving. And, and we always felt maybe he's going to be the heir to you. No, we all, nobody lives forever. And why did he leave? I mean, he, he's, he's pretty great. You know, Jim's a great guy, and he's been with the company 35 years. He started, as I did, at the very early level, and then he's just had good success as he's gone through. But, you know, that is the normal progression cycle that we have at UPS. People will normally spend their entire careers, and then uh, they'll retire, and, uh, and then there will be other people that will step in. We have a solid bench. We talk about secession. I've been the CEO for five years. We've talked about it for all five years. So it's a very active process, and uh, and we feel really good about the leadership team. You, were you, you got a question on it uh, on the call about it. It's a little surprising about your succession plans. Are you surprised to get questions like that at this point? You know, when I've been the company for over 40 years, and uh, <laughs> and I'm 64 years old. There's always going to be questions, and my answer is that uh, that I'm having so much fun doing this, and I'm so involved that uh, of course we're going to have a succession process in place. But uh, people that just start guessing and and estimating, we're just focused on taking care of our customers, doing the job we need, and uh, and we've got a deep bench, so we're not worried about the bench. Next day air volume up 24 versus prior 30. Is that sequentially uh, normal or are people graduating down? Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that they're graduating down. 30 percent was like a extreme high. To follow that up with 24, of course, people are trying to see where they can position inventory to where they can hit next day ground as much as they can, which is a fast growing part of our business. And, but next day air at 24 percent, second day at 17 percent. Our results have really taken flight, so to speak, because our air business has really gone up. And you mentioned unit costs. How did you do that? How do you take two out of unit costs? You know, it didn't happen by luck, I'll tell you that. It was our strategies, it was our initi initiatives in transformation and our investments 
We have invested in 400,000 in our additional capacity the last two years. So all those things combined, we have done exactly what we said we would do, and we'd bring the cost down. There are many situations, emergent situations, where we have cell phones. We know where people are. Uh, someone in our party gets uh, bit by a snake. Uh, otherwise, they might die. A drone? Yeah, the, the drone opportunity is just something we're really excited about. And, uh, and our Flight Forward uh, subsidiary has gotten off to a really good start. We've already done over 1,500 commercial flights. But the example you gave, Jim, is a good one. Take the Raleigh, North Carolina area. Uh, Wake Med may have one snake bite venom for the entire city. It doesn't happen often. It's uh, very expensive and it has an expiration date. With drone technology, being able to move that from one facility to the other could make all the difference in the world. It's those kind of opportunities multiplied by the thousands of times that make drones such an exciting strategy. I think um, that people don't understand. I mean, I, I'm involved with a medicine where literally, if it's if it gets warm for an hour, it goes bad, and it's a $250 a month medicine. Uh, I can't find a way to get it to me. Uh, and, and when I'm in a jam, I was in a jam in Mexico. I would love to think I could call my CVS and say, "Listen, here's where I am. Check my G GPS. I'll pay anything." Because if I don't have the medicine, many things happen. Drones. You. Yes, wow. and that's why we're partnering, and we announced with three different healthcare companies, large multinational companies, and really there's so much more to come here. You know, this is just at the very opening part of the potential uh, of this initiative. And, and David, finally, as we head into the holiday season fairly soon, uh, what are your expectations in terms of volumes? What are your preparations in terms of additional employees that you obviously always move towards at this time of year? Yes. Peak season will be here before we know it, no doubt about it. It's mid-October. Our volumes will, from an average daily today, they will go up over 50%. So if we're delivering over 20 million a day, it'll go up over 30 million. And uh, But we are prepared and, uh, and we are ready. We're collaborating closely with our customers. We expect to have another solid peak season. David, always appreciate your joining us. Thank you.